What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on designing a mechanical piping system. So last video, we learned how to add mechanical equipment. So uh, in this exercise, we are going to create the return and supply piping systems. And then we are going to explore the system browser to review and confirm the systems. So just a bit of a background. A system is the logical connection between system components such as the WSHP or the water source heat pumps and a boiler. So this logical connection allows RevitMEP to perform various analysis including flow and pressure. So the recommended workflow to create the piping system is to number one, we are going to place mechanical equipment and other system uh, components which already done last video and then we are going to create a logical connection between the system components which is what we are going to do in this video and then the last part is we're going to create pipes to physically connect the system components all right and important uh, note all system components are logically connected either by a system that you create or by a default system okay so unlike logical connections or systems physical connections like pipes are not required for system uh, system creation so you can create pipes to connect system components but without a corresponding system analysis cannot be uh, performed all right okay so let us check our uh, system browser so here on the system browser so as you can see, again, if you don't have the system browser open, just right-click at the blank space, just right-click, and then look for the browsers, and then just select the system browser. Okay, so you will now have your system browser here, which is this one. Okay, so on the systems um, category here, so I can filter this. So instead of all this pin, I'm going to select piping to show only the uh, piping system. And then from here, as you can see, we already have two systems created here. If I'm going to expand that, I already have here a, a hydronic return one. And then I also have hydronic supply one system here, piping system. Okay, and then by default, in our system browser, all system components are organized in a folder tree hierarchy according to the system that you assign to them. So you assign the system component to a system either by creating a logical connection between the system components or assigning a system component to an existing system. Okay, and then notice that after you place your uh, water source heat pumps and then our boiler, Revit immediately assigned them inside the default uh, hydronic return and default hydronic uh, supply systems category located here on our unassigned. So if I'm going to select this equipment, if I click that one, so you can see that unassigned here highlighted, it becomes red. And if I'm going to select the plus sign there, so it's under the piping, and then I can see that this equipment is on the hydronic return, hydronic supply, and sanitary. Okay, so that's because of the connectors that is available on my uh, WSHP. Okay, so as you can see, this equipment here, it's under the unassigned system, hydronic return, and then hydronic supply, and then sanitary. So why do we have here three systems? Well, it's because this family contains these connectors. So it contains connectors for hydronic return, hydronic supply, and sanitary. Okay, so that's why it's present in this three uh, system here. Same with our other uh, equipment here. So if I click this one, as you can see, again, it's under an assigned system. And it has a connector for hydronic return connector for hydronic supply, and connector for sanitary. 
Okay? So they remain in the default systems category until you assign them to a system. So as you assign equipment to systems, the assigned equipment moves from the unassigned folder to the respective assigned system folder. So right now it's under unassigned, but later on, it will be moved to the correct uh, system later on under the piping. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to select modify to deselect it. Okay, so take note that our hydronic return here. So there's our uh, return, there's our supply, and then there's our sanitary. We are not going to do sanitary. We are just concerned on the hydronic return and hydronic supply of this equipment. And same with this one. Okay, so... Next part of the exercise is we're going to create hydronic return piping system. So to start that, I'm going to select these two equipment, click one, and then hold control, and then select the other equipment. Okay, so it's now selected. So as you can see, it's now highlighted on our uh, system browser here. Okay, now after that, you look for the create systems on the modify mechanical equipment. So as you can see here, we have three categories or three types of system that you can create. So you can create a system for dock, system for power, and then system for piping. Again, the reason you have these uh, systems here because it is present on this family. So this equipment, it contains dock connector and it also contains connector for power and then it also contains connector for piping. That's, you, that's why you are seeing these three systems. Just to prove that, let me just quickly select this equipment, select Edit Family, and then I'm just going to show you here. Okay, this one, this connector is for power. So if I check the properties, that is for the electrical. So this connector is for electrical. That's why you can create an electrical system. And then this connector here is for duct. Okay, and then this connector here is also for duct. Okay, and what else? So this connector here is for pipe. Okay, so that's for sanitary. That's why you can create a sanitary system on this equipment. And then this connector here is for hydronic return. That's for piping. And then this one, if I click this, this is for hydronic supply, another for piping. That's the reason why, let me just close this one. That's the reason why when you select these uh, two equipments here, you can see these create systems, duct, power, and piping. Because these are the connectors that is present on these two equipment. Okay, now after I select these two equipment, I'm going to select your piping because I want to create a piping system, hydronic return piping system. So you click that one. And then if you click the drop down arrow here, you can see the different system type that you can create. So I want to create a hydronic return. And then I'm going to change the name of that. So system name, I'm going to call this uh, chilled water uh, return, CHWR. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, tick the box open in system editor so that it will open the system editor. So I select OK. So it will open up your system editor. There you go. So we are now on the system editor. So the reason why I opened the system editor is because I want to select the equipment that will supply on my uh, equipment here. My water source heat pump. So I'm going to select equipment. And then I want to select this boiler here. So I click that boiler. There you go. And then I select here, Finish Editing System. So that's how you create your uh, first system. So as you can see here under the unassigned, okay, so you will not be able to see here anymore these two equipment because it's now under here. You see, it, 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 it now becomes three systems. Okay, so we created a return under the with the equipment is the condensing boiler which is this one so if i'm going to expand this so you will now be able to see there the system that we have created so this is the equipment this is the system name and then this is the two equipment that we have here so as you can see there you go and then this one there you go 
you will notice that it's still under here on the unassigned but notice that it's not highlighting anymore the hydronic return here because we already created that system of course it's still on the hydronic supply because we haven't created hydronic supply system and then we haven't created the sanitary which is what we are not going to do the next is we're going to use or we're going to create a hydronic supply system so that it will put under the piping system here okay so we now have this uh, system here so if i click chwr the name of the system it will now highlight these equipments that we have selected to be part of that system okay now the next thing that we're gonna do is um, let's create a, a hydronic supply piping system so to do that another way is instead of selecting both the equipment so I'll try to select one equipment here so I click that and then again I'm going to select piping here and then hydronic supply so I'll just put the name here uh, chilled water return supply okay so let's say for example I'm not going to tick the system editor so I'll just select okay right and then I'll just select modify now if I'm going to check again my systems here so I now have one system created for the hydronic supply so if I expand that so there you go so I now have one here as you can see the hydronic return and hydronic supply here is not highlighting anymore because that equipment is already assigned to a proper system hydronic return and hydronic supply okay now I want to add this um, water source heat pump to the system so how to do that so to do that I'll click this equipment and then you go to the piping systems you can now select your edit system okay so you click that one and there you go so you are now again on the system editor so by default add to system is selected so I'm now going to select this equipment that I want to be added to the system hang on okay uh, that's me oh this one sorry so you select the system okay because we want to add that so you select from here and then you select edit system all right and then add the system you click this to be added to the system okay so right after we add the two equipment here our water source heat pumps the next thing that I want to add to the chilled water supply system is this um, equipment this cooling water supply okay so I want to add that particular uh, cooling tower so to do that again just click the system here and then after that edit system again by default add to system is selected so let us now select this equipment so let's click that one and then let us choose here the connector that we want to add to the chilled water supply system so what I want is this one here Okay, so I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to select your OK. Okay, and then I want to select the boiler as an equipment. So I select equipment and then let's go to the level, level 3. Is it on level 3? Yep, so it's on level 3. Select equipment. So I select this boiler here. Click that and then finish. there you go so if I go back again to the system browser so our chilled water supply is now created this one okay so if I expand that so there's our chilled water supply so again it's being controlled by this boiler that's the system name and then these are the equipments on that uh, system so that's how you validate your system using the system browser so if I'm going to select CHWS so as you can see it highlights here 
and of course it will also highlight your equipment here so if i click that one you see it's also highlighting that okay and then you can also modify this so you can um uh, you can expand this one so there's a column here for flow size space name space number you can actually select here the column settings if you want you can add more column like on the piping you can select the fluid type uh, uh, fluid temp and then i select here okay so it's now added here so there you go so there's the fluid type and then the uh, fluid temperature okay and then you can also use your uh, system browser to modify let's say for example the flow value the water flow of one of the water source heat pump so what i can do is um i can click one of the water source heat pump right click that one and then i'll just check the properties of that so let's go to the properties so that's the one so we can change the water flow there so let's say instead of uh, 12 so I can make that 18 GPM and then I just select your apply Right, so if I go back again to the system browser, so you will notice here that it's updated So as you can see it's now updated so you can also change From the properties by selecting it from the system browser Okay Right, so basically that's how you create a piping system a logical piping system okay so again if you are going to over your pointer you can um, click that and then you can check the project browser here oh I mean the properties to check what is the system assignment of that particular equipment of that boiler it is assigned to chilled water supply and chilled water return and then same with this you can check that Okay, so it, that's the assignment. Right, okay. So hopefully you learned something from this video. In our next video, we're going to add pipe using auto layout. And then we're also going to learn how to use a manual layout. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.